Okay, so here we have our new interface for the quad core from Droid Player. It's running on Android KitKat 4.4, so it's a uh, upgraded, brand new version of Android on a brand new uh, box with quad core processor architecture. As you can see, the screen looks really uh, functional and easy to use. You don't have to scroll through left and right. Um, you know the launcher that we had before, which was um, a 3D launcher on the dual core box. Everything you need is pretty much right in front of you on one screen. On online video, this just takes you to any apps which are associated with video. Obviously, you've got Netflix there. You've also got XBMC, which we'll come to in a second, which is the main showcase uh, of these boxes. My recommended is just basically the favorite screen. You can add any of the, any of the apps or um, something like that to uh, my recommended and uh, they'll appear in this section here. Of course you've got the settings. Um, you've got uh, you know the display, the usual um, settings here and advanced. This is like a, a layer one of settings. If you want to get into the more detailed advanced settings, just come over to other, down, and then to more settings, and uh, it'll give you the traditional um, Android settings that we had before, which is, gives you a bit more detail. Um, down here, local, so anything um, you've got plugged in using the two USB ports on the quad core. Um, you can access it, so the gallery, any pictures you have on a, on a, or even on an SD card. You can play movies from the SD card or a USB port. And obviously you've got file, file browser which will allow you to browse the actual USB card or the SD card straight from here. Got music as well, which you know pretty much the same as, um, uh, you know, same as the pictures and the movies on the online video. It just basically goes to any music apps that you have or you can browse music that you have on a local card or USB device. In here we've got my apps. So these are all the apps that are installed on the box. As you can see it comes with AirPlay, uh, Aptoid. It's got um, Facebook and uh, our own custom installer app called DP Installer. This will custom install our XBMC package and the latest uh, updates to our XBMC config. We've also got Ghost Commander which is a really good way of um, browsing the machine without um, using the traditional file browser. Ghost Commander will show you all the directories, even the hidden directories, so it's a really good way, a really powerful tool of finding everything you want. It's got all the other usual uh, items as well, obviously Netflix, it's got Skype, Play Store, and uh, Twitter, etc. So it allows you to go on to uh, and find, you know, pretty much everything you want. So down below we've got shortcuts to apps. At the moment we've got Movie Player, and uh, obviously you can see XBMC here, which we'll get to in the Play Store. If you want to add more uh, shortcuts to this screen, just press the plus button, and uh, this pops up, and you can again see all the. Um, the uh, apps which were on the box. So I just choose this one here and then uh, click the back button and there you go it appears on the screen. So it's very easy to uh, to add and, and to remove the, uh, the shortcuts on here. So it's a very clean, uh, simple and intuitive looking screen. Um, we think it's a lot better than the old um, 3D launcher where you have to scroll left and right you pretty much got everything set up here and if you're using a uh, wireless mouse remote like this one here it's very easy to just point and click um, without having to scroll around using the directional pad so it's um, it's set up very well for uh, for both for both ways of navigating it you know using the standard remote that it comes with or using a point and click remote mouse or an air mouse which are also available um, from our droid player website